Uh-oh, you got this Windows Defender notification saying, Trojan downloader, HTML, Adobe Gen, exclamation mark, A. What are you going to do? Do you have a virus? No, you do not have a virus. You have an image that someone has specifically made just to trigger your antivirus. I will show you. I actually have the image itself. Now, this can be a whole bunch of different images. The main thing is that if I open it up with Notepad, so open with, Notepad, you'll notice that it's a whole bunch of random garbage. If I scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice, wait, hold on. This looks like code. All this code is doing is getting a photo from the internet and setting that as your background. Will this ever work? No, it won't work. This this bug, this exploit has been patched very long ago, so you are safe. This isn't something you should be worrying about, but it is very annoying, so I'm going to show you how to get rid of it other than using Windows Defender all the time. The main thing you want to do is you want to press the Windows key and the R key, then type in percent app data percent, then press OK. It'll pop up this folder here. Now you just need to go to either the Discord, Discord Canary, or Discord PTB folder. If you only have Discord, it'll show up as Discord. But the way to check which one it is is just go into your Windows Defender. I should have a screenshot pop up here, which will kind of show you like a path or whatever. If it says Discord, then you need to go to the Discord folder. If it says Discord PTB, go to that folder. Whatever folder it says, you need to go to that. So in this case, I'm going to go to the Discord PTB folder. Yours might be just normal Discord. Once you double click on it, you should see a cache folder. You want to double click on that. Then you will see a whole bunch of files. You want to click on the first F underscore file, scroll down to the very bottom and click on the last F underscore file while holding shift. So hold shift, click on that file. It should select all the files and you just want to delete them. And after everything or whatever, all your cached files are gone. But later down the road, let's say someone sends you another one of these images and it's annoying and you don't want to deal with it anymore. Well, the way to prevent your antivirus from getting really mad at you is you have to make an exception. So to do that, you need to go to Windows Security. So press the Windows key, type in Windows Security, press Enter, pop up with this thing, go to Virus and Threat Protection. Then you want to go and scroll down to Manage Settings. Then you want to scroll down some more, click Add or Remove Exclusions. Holy goodness, I can barely speak. Click Add an Exclusion, click Folder, then you need to navigate to that folder again. Now it's gonna be hard to navigate to the app data folder because you're going through this little thing here. And all you wanna do is you just want to click on this PC at the top, click on it and type in percent app data percent, press enter. Then it'll go back to this roaming folder. Then you want to go to the Discord version or any Discord version or folder that you have, click on it, then click on the cache folder, then click select folder, then press yes. And what this will do is exclude it, so you won't have to worry about this ever again. Mind you, if you do get Discord Canary or a different Discord variant, then you will need to add that as an exclusion as well. So add exclusion, folder, then at the top, make sure it's an app data, go to the roaming folder, then click on Discord or Discord Canary. So I'm going to do Canary, click on the cache folder, click select folder. And now you will never, ever, ever get one of those virus pop-up notifications again. It's gone and dealt with for good. And not all of these notifications are safe. Just keep that in mind. Windows Defender is actually pretty decent for what it is. It's Microsoft did a good job, finally. I don't use any other one. I don't know. Anyways, I love you. Mwah!